you never want a serious crisis to go to waste. And what I mean by that, it's an opportunity to do things that you think you could not do before. I think America as a whole in 1973 and 1974, and not just my view, but obviously the administration, missed the opportunity to deal with the energy crisis that was before us. For a long time, our entire energy policy came down to cheap oil. This is an opportunity, what used to be long-term problems, be they in the healthcare area, energy area, education area, fiscal area, tax area, regulatory reform area, things that we had postponed for too long that were long-term are now immediate and must be dealt with. And this crisis provides the opportunity for us, as I would say, the opportunity to do things that you could not do before. The good news, I suppose, if you want to see a silver lining, is the problems are big enough that they lend themselves to ideas from both parties for the solution. That is also, I mean, there's not a, we didn't just do the meeting with Senator McCain and Senator Lindsay. The president did not elect to not have that meeting just for optics. We covered very serious issues as it relates to spending reforms on government approach. He brought the idea of, uh, defense, of defense procurement. We have brought the idea of his corporate welfare commission. But how to spend money different, because it's not an argument about big government versus small government, but more effective government. So you actually are getting your bang for the buck that the taxpayers and all those who put money into it expect, whether that be in the area of education or health care. The five reforms that we see, uh, one in health care would be in the area that deals with cost control as a principle and expansion of coverage. Energy with both independence and alternatives. In the area of taxes, fairness, as well as simplicity. In the area of education, there's got to be fundamental reforms there as it relates to uh, making sure that we are effectively training the workforce, and I'm glad to see that the, one of the number, I think your second principle, is an educated, tra trained workforce. You cannot be in an era of where you earn what you learn and have both our education system from K to 12, as well as our access to higher education, and I'm not just talking about four-year, but also community colleges, that needs a fundamental overhaul that is the bridge fundamentally to the future. And lastly, financial regulatory overhaul with the principles of both uh, I would say uh, transparency and accountability.